All right, so who is going to be the next net coach? And a, a lot of the stories I read, they list the, um, the contender, so to speak. But one name jumps out at me that I think would be the worst idea that the Nets could even think about uh, exercising. That's to bring Jason Kidd back. When has it ever worked out with Jason Kidd? He was with the Knicks. Knicks actually had a good season with him. He got the most out of Carmelo. And then he retired, suddenly got the net job. And then he wanted more money after one season. They let him go. He goes to Milwaukee because they gave him more money. And then he makes a power play and wants more power. He's probably the most disappointed guy right. in L.A. that Frank Vogel actually has the Lakers playing great basketball. I, I think Vogel showed how much confidence he has in himself to allow Jason Kidd to be on his staff. Jason Kidd is a mover, a shaker, a striver. He doesn't settle. He always wants more, 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 more. And I'm sure that when he took that Laker job, he said, Vogel will fair, well, I'll get the job. So you want to bring him back to the Nets? He's going to be angling for Sean Marks' job. If they do well the first season, he's going to want more money. That's what Jason Kidd is. Why would you get in that cesspool again? Well, but here's the question, Michael. What if that's what Durant and Kyrie want? No, I'd say no. You make it seem like it's so easy. Yeah, you just, just say the, no. You just let the coach go because they weren't happy with him. Now, if they say, uh, we want Jason Kidd, then how do you say no if you didn't say no when they wanted Kenny Atkinson fired? Because the, you, can, you can choose any coach you want now. Right. And you're going to go for a guy who is, who's been a backstabber every single place he's been as a, as a head coach. Well, I completely, 100% agree with you. I wouldn't touch him with a 10-foot pole. But you think it's easy for them to say no to Durant and Kyrie if they well, want Jason Well, at some Jason point Kidd? you have to. And, and I said this yesterday, and I truly believe it. If it continues to go the way we assume that it's going, that those two guys are calling the shots through the owner, Joe Tsai, Sean Marks is going to leave. Right. Sean Marks would get a job in a second anywhere, the job that he's done in Brooklyn. That's why I was surprised that he gave in to them when it came to the coach and why he's insisting it was his idea. But all of a sudden, if you bring back Jason Kidd, not only a guy who's not loyal, but will is a GM killer who wants more, 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 more when he just does his job, I'm sorry. He lost a job in Milwaukee. He could have won there for a long time because he makes power right. plays. That's what Jason's about. But this is the way it could probably go down. All right, they start. You have to incorporate those guys in your your coaching search. You'd agree with that, right? I mean, you. Kinda, I would say you were, you certainly right. you, consult them. You've set that tone now, where you're going to have to like run names by them, kind of have them work in unison with you if you're Sean Marks. Jason Kidd's name comes up. Absolutely not. Can't do Jason Kidd. We tried that. Didn't work. We don't think that he's somebody that fits in here. Uh, don't let the uh, door hit you with the good Lord split you. That whole deal. Right, and then Joseph Sy says, "Well, wait a minute. This is what they want." Then you're right. Sean Mark's going to go. Okay, I resign, and now he's gone. So that's the power play. How much power do you allow these players to have? You already dictated who the um, coach is by getting rid of Kenny Atkinson. You're going to make them part of the process on who replaces Atkinson's. Where do you put the foot down when you know that if you put your foot down, if you're Sean Marks, it's probably going to cost you your job? So what do you do? I think you put your foot down and see if the owner sides with you. And then if he doesn't, you leave. I, I can't imagine that the owner is going to do anything but side with the players that he's spending all that money on. Well, then that's not the owner that Sean Marks wants to work for. I don't I, think. I, I, all the things you're saying are right, but it's, it's harder. It, it, it's a tough spot to be in. Because it's not a question of I'm not going to allow the players to have the power. You've already given them some power. We can agree with that. So how much or when are you willing to put your foot down and at what cost? I think it's here because you know if you give in to them on Jason Kidd, you're going to lose your job anyway. Jason Kidd's going to come for your job. Yeah, it's a, it so is. you might as well lose it with your head held high. Now, I don't know if there's any relationship. Has anybody done the homework to see if that's somebody they would actually want? I, I understand the fans bringing it up because even though it w didn't work out with a coach, he's still one of the great players in the history of the organization. 
But but he left them high and dry. There's no question about that, and he leaves everybody high and dry. I mean, it just it doesn't work out with him. Like you said, it'd be a power play where any bit of success, he'd be going after Marks' job, and or he'd parlay it and trying to make more money someplace else. He would be the he would be the Parcells guy that during the parade is negotiating with another team, the Bull. He'd be yep. he'd be the Mike Keenan, Pat Riley. Right, he he finally right. win a championship for Brooklyn, and during you know Game he Seven of the more. Finals, he's on the phone with Sacramento trying to get money out of them.